In March, we actually closed down several days before the uh, mandatory lockdown. We saw it coming, the number of guests was declining, and we understood that there was a major concern around the coronavirus. A velo is a tasting menu format. It's uh, a little more complex, it's a little more um, involved, so it doesn't really translate to delivery or takeout very well. We didn't want to do like 20 pieces of packaging for every meal that we send out. It didn't really make sense to continue uh, to doing anything until we could do dining in again. I've been thinking about how to make indoor dining safe for quite a while. I'd been reading obsessively about the virus and how it spreads. The one thing in particular that stood out was a study from Guangzhou, China about uh, a restaurant where there was one table that had someone who turned out later was infected and it spread to two other families at two other tables. The theory is that it was spread largely because the air conditioning system was pushing air around and those respiratory droplets were spreading further than they normally would. When I think about what would make me feel comfortable as a diner, it's really important to separate the space, the air, between groups. So we have these acrylic walls, they're eight feet high, basically makes it impossible to have air directly transferring from one table to another. Air moves all over the place, so we also have uh, air purifiers with HEPA filters. It uh, continuously cleans the air, it cycles through nine times per hour, and uh, that way we minimize the risk. Uh, in addition to that, we'll be doing a lot of video conferencing to make sure that any guests that are uncomfortable with us answering questions for them around uh, the table, um, we'll be able to give them the option of us moving away, having a small video conference with the tablets that are installed in the table. The type of precautions we put in place not only are for the guests themselves, but it's also for us as employees here. And I think Avello is taking really good care of what we need and having constant meetings and communication channels open to make sure that we also get what we would need to feel more comfortable working back. I think that makes me feel really, really good. I think this is the only way that we can operate safely. I wouldn't feel good about operating it if we only had distancing between tables. I think it's also important that we have spaces for people to socialize indoors because as the weather cools down, as we don't have access to parks and patios anymore, uh, people are going to socialize and we need to make safe spaces for people to be in.